Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. If it's your first time seeing me, go ahead and like this video because I know you're going to like it already. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another upload. And if you already are subscribed, hey babies, welcome back. I am a spiritual mentor. All of my content here is about healing you and helping you reach your highest self. Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Happy full moon in Leo in advance. We have an incredible full moon in Leo kicking off on February 5th. Fifth, I am doing my personalized moon experiences again. So for 30 bucks, you guys can get a tarot and oracle reading, um, tips on how to release your burdens, and also identifying your core strengths, identifying your spiritual strengths. So the reason we're going to be getting into that is because this full moon is all about reconnecting with the fire, the passion, the inner Leo inside of all of us. You know, Leo energy is all about strength, passion, fire, trusting yourself, being sure of yourself, being confident, and kind of taking a step back from being so focused on work and structure and discipline you know this is really a time to let your hair down and remember you know what it means to be you get tapped back into your energy so yes if you guys are interested in a personalized full moon experience then check the top of the description box to see how you can send in and sign up for that um but let's go ahead and start with some sound bowls so we can open up this pick a card i'm going to play some sound bowls for you guys and then show you the card selection there are going to be three piles you choose whichever one is calling to your energy you trust yourself don't second guess yourself so let's get into it guys i'm using a tarot deck today that i haven't picked up in a while and we have five tarot cards for everybody instead of three so i'm expecting a drag um okay so let's go ahead and get right into it All right, everyone, here is our card selection. Again, take a few deep breaths here if you feel called to and choose whichever pile is calling to you. Pile one, pile two, or pile three. Remember to not second guess yourself. Then go ahead, check the top of the description box for your timestamp, and I will see you at your reading. All right, group one, let's go ahead and get into your spread. So your oracle card that we're going to start off this energy with says empathic star seed, empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty and absorbing what's not yours. Empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty and absorbing what's not yours. So you guys could definitely be in the space where you have a lot of energies around you and you want to be mindful of what you're feeling because it could be you, but it also could be an energy that you're feeling based off of, you know, the people that are in your circle. Um, so let's go ahead and get into these tarot cards. Like I said, we have a lot of tarot cards for everybody. So let's get into it. So first for you guys, we have the queen of wands, the queen of wands. We have the king of swords king of swords we have the five of pentacles five of pentacles the five of cups the five of cups and then we also have the dreamer the dreamer i'm not gonna hold all these cards at once because they're big um that's why i gave y'all a little bit of second to look at each one so let's go ahead and get into this so with the five of wands you know just like we had um talking about the full moon and leo energy i definitely feel we have a lot of fire signs in this group possibly a lot of leos in this group this is definitely your time to reclaim your passion your purpose reclaim the things that make you you and shine also with this king of swords it could also be time to get back authority over your life if you guys have a lot of very hard decisions that you have to make you know with this five of pentacles and five of cups you could definitely be in a space where you're realizing what doesn't work in career and also in relationships you know this talks about needing to focus on the solution needing to focus on positive thoughts because those negative thoughts those overwhelming thoughts are leaving us burdened you know this full moon is also about releasing burdens and realizing what has been weighing you down getting back to the version of yourself that is light that is feeling free so think about what has you burdened in terms of finances are you feeling inadequate are you stressing yourself out are you beating yourself up about the money that you're making right now and if you are how can you focus on solutions how can you focus on things that are going to set you up for the future rather than things that just remind you of the unfortunate circumstances you've experienced in your past okay also we have the five of cups so we know this is a reminder to grieve and then look forward deal with what you've had to lose 
but always be ready to move forward. Um, also with this dreamer energy, you know, the dreamer is the energy of the fool, the energy of taking a fresh start, taking a risk. This is all about how you guys are going to have a new beginning. So group one, I definitely feel you guys want to take this opportunity in this full moon to really think about what's been keeping you bound and what's been holding you back. Um, especially if you are ready to, you know, make some, you know, make some new moves, do some different things in career, in love, across the board. Um, let's keep getting into it. So we have happiness. We have crown, honor and respect will come to you. So this could be a very big thing. You guys could be focused on how other people feel. You know, these people aren't gonna respect me if I'm not able to make this amount of money or I made this amount of money last year. If I can't duplicate the results or go higher than what I did last year, I'm not gonna be worthy of the manager position. I'm not gonna be worthy of being my own boss. You know, so really work on not seeing yourself as worthy when you're doing very well you know you want to see yourself as worthy all the time not just when you're making the um accolades and you're making all the money and you're doing all the things you want to see yourself as having what it takes no matter what and also we have broom new home new attitude so switch up some things in your home possibly maybe getting rid of some old stuff bringing some new stuff in and some of you could possibly be moving soon i feel like this move um this change of scenery is definitely going to give you what you've been lacking and if you guys have a lot of heavy energies in your home right now starting off with this queen of wands this talks about the ability to change the circumstances and situations you might be in so no matter what space you guys are in you absolutely have the power to make something beautiful out of that space and tap in the king of swords also talks about how intelligent you guys are how resourceful you are you are absolutely able um, to you know come up with solutions and get yourself out of any situation if you need to and remember in the beginning we had empathic star seed so you guys could be feeling you know a little way down a little heavy a little burdened um, because of everybody around you so really take into account who else around you is feeling burdened do you have a lot of people around you that are feeling worn down and is that causing you to doubt yourself because i feel like at your core you guys have a lot of um faith in who you are it's really just about keeping that up no matter what we're experiencing highs lows whatever the case may be so yes also, we have surrender to the divine, full moon. So this full moon for you guys is going to be a full moon of surrender. This is about release and just, you know, stepping into a space where we accept, hey, this happened how it happened. Let me move forward. Just like we have with this five of cup energy, which is all about accepting grief, realizing everything isn't going to last forever and be able to move on. So you guys might have to leave behind certain ideas, certain career plans, certain relationships. It's all for your benefit. Everything is happening exactly as it needs to. And we have have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon have faith in your dreams so this down down space that you guys are in where things are moving don't feel like you're going to be there forever don't feel like it ain't moving now it's never going to move in the future this is just the space that you're in right now it absolutely is going to work out for you as it needs to we also have get more information get more information so tap into that inquisitive mind dig in research figure out what you need to as the queen of wands all you guys need is a tea all you need to know is how to do it and you're going to be able to do it so why don't you just figure out how to do it you know like i feel like you guys um only need to do a certain thing like something so so small to set you up for that next level and you have all of these things that's making you think like damn I'm so far away when in reality there might be one or two things that you need to do to set yourself up for success we also have forgiveness forgiveness so possibly forgiving and releasing certain emotional situations in the past that we've dealt with you know being able to move forward because i do feel like there's new opportunities for us in love so forgiveness releasing old burdens so we can step ahead if you guys are leos or fire signs in general then you guys probably definitely hold the grudges you know what i'm saying like i know it's very hard for a fire sign to have somebody do them wrong and bounce back um so i definitely feel you guys want to work on forgiving um and if you have a lot of grudges that you're holding on to that could definitely be weighing your energy down we also have weight weight so i feel like you guys are in a really important stage right now i feel like the space that you're in is about releasing what isn't serving you mentally realizing why it wasn't serving you realizing why you um picked up on that and then stepping into this new beginning where you're able to move forward believe in yourself trust in yourself and trust in your ability to make the decisions but you have to make the decisions before you get into the space this isn't a situation where you get to step in and then trust yourself y'all have to trust yourselves right now and we have have faith in your dreams so have faith in your dreams and have faith in yourself right now and also group one we have journal for you and deep breathing 
deep breathing and journal so journaling is going to be good for you in this full moon and also deep breathing doing some breath work as well so yes group one that is what we have for you guys a lot of new energy is definitely turning over a new leaf absorbing what's not is yours okay pull your energy back take your power back and protect yourself in this space if you guys want to get a little bit deeper into your personal tea again you can check the top of the description box to see how you can send in and get a personalized moon experience from me um but yes you guys can also book readings in the description box get tickets to the cyber witch camp all that good tea shop the pixie pee rolls everything um but yes i appreciate you guys i thank you group one again let me know if you pulled this and it resonated with you down below i appreciate y'all and i thank you guys for being here and i will see you guys next time bye guys bless all right group two let's go ahead and see what we have for you for this full moon so we have inner earth this says you will survive this new solutions and beginnings inner earth you will survive this new solutions and beginnings so obviously stepping into some new spaces and releasing what we are currently going through y'all definitely have a lot going on so let's get into it all right y'all so we have the nine of pentacles maybe i can hold all these cards up at once we have the nine of pentacles let's see we have the eight of cups eight of cups right yeah eight of cups we have the five of wands we have the five of swords and lastly we have the nine of wands the nine of wands so we have the nine of pentacles we have the eight of cups we have the five of wands the five of swords and then we have the nine of wands so let's get into this message with this nine of pentacles and the eight of cups you stepping into a space of success and abundance is definitely going to be the push that you need to leave some folk behind you know i feel like you guys have kind of been teaching yourself and telling to yourself i can do this on my own i can do this on my own but you really won't believe it until you see it and ain't nothing wrong with that i feel like you guys maybe are holding on to certain relationships holding on to certain things and you won't really release those things until you realize you can make it without them you know so you guys have already kind of halfway cut yourself off of certain people or certain things but you won't fully be done with it and fully walk away until you realize okay i'm good i'm straight i don't need this this was weighing heavily on me um so i feel like you guys are going to be doing that you know which is great i feel like it's important to understand you know what you need when it's time for you to let go of something i always tell people if you don't feel like you're done with the situation don't let yourself go like don't remove yourself from the situation because you'll always be thinking about it and realistically if you're still thinking about something you might as well still be there figuring it out so spend time in the situation figure out what you need to figure out work on yourself and it's definitely going to pay off like if you guys are in a situation right now wondering i know i want to leave but i want to be sure you're going to be able to be sure it's going to come full circle now when it does be ready to get the fuck out of there it's definitely coming now we also have the five of swords and the five of wands so this new space that you guys are going to be in the financial abundance you're definitely going to have a lot of energies coming at you people trying to take advantage of you people looking at you like damn why they got it and i don't got it people trying to just have conflict with you because they see you as competition they see you as you know just like i said how they got it and i don't have it how is this person doing all these things and i'm just getting started out you know so you're definitely going to be in a space where you really have to be um secure in yourself i feel like you guys are definitely taking a journey where you're going from relying on your community to really focusing on you so you guys could possibly even be in an awakening i feel like we all turn a crucial point in our journey when we stop focusing on everybody else and we turn our attention inward and that's exactly what you guys are experiencing right now also we have the nine of wands okay this is about resilience about strength about moving forward about being knocked down and getting back up over and over again we have you'll survive this this was the first message that we have for y'all so even if you do lose all of your friends even if you do have to walk away from everybody you will survive this you are strong you are resilient you can do it and you want to protect the goods you want to protect your energy your power your magic um we also have thrown position of authority so it's on you position of authority what you allow is absolutely what's going to be taking place we have pen new job or career new job or career we have that nine of pentacles so there's definitely a bag and we have tankard celebration fun and enjoyment so i feel like you guys could be in a confusing space it might feel confusing but everything truly is in balance you know where you feel on one hand you celebrate and you living it up because everything is working right but on the other hand you, um you have all these people moving out of your life and all these people that you have to let go so there's definitely going to be a balance but again focus on the happiness that you're bringing in because whatever you're letting go of you're always going to be releasing that and letting that go 
it's not like you go through um, a friendship breakup, a, a real breakup, a romantic breakup. It's not like you cut somebody out of your life and you mourn for a couple weeks and then you never think about them ever again. You're always going to think about what you had to let go, especially if you love this person and care about them. So it's normal to, you know, feel like, dang, I don't, I just need to shut everything out and deal with this right now until I'm done feeling this. But you're always going to feel that a little bit. So don't focus on being done with the grief before you can have a good time. Challenge yourself to have a good time and celebrate yourself right now because the things that are happening right now are not going to happen again. And you don't want to miss the opportunity that you have right now to really care for yourself. We also have don't let your past hold you back. South node, don't let your past hold you back and bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So it's definitely an opportunity for you guys, again, to step into some new spaces and relationships. And we have bring love into the situation. So we're cutting off things that don't serve us, but we're bringing new love in. We can't be mad at that. We also have remain positive. Remain positive. Then we have yes. And we have a hard no with an exclamation point, a hard no, okay? So we have a yes and no and remain positive. So just like I said, you guys are in a space that could seem like you're being pulled in a bunch of different directions, but it's going to definitely be working out for you. And because we have this hard no with this exclamation point, I feel like your energies are telling you the no's are gonna be hell no's. Like it's not gonna be a, um, I'm not sure if I should still keep this person around or I'm not sure. Maybe they can serve me in some ways. Like, uh-uh. You're going to know for sure. So don't second guess it. Remain positive and just be thankful that you're getting these, you know, downloads because a lot of people have a lot of people around them that don't need to be around them that are wishing them ill will and they don't even know. And these people end up setting them up, getting them killed, getting them sent to jail, messing up their businesses. All kinds of stuff can happen when you have people around you who are bringing in this five of wands and this five of swords energy. This don't attract nothing good. So it pays you to release this and deal with this. So we have this no energy, which obviously is letting you know you'll be very, very secure and which you have to let go. But we also have a yes. So no for these things doesn't mean no all the time. It doesn't mean a no for your success and a no for new relationships. It just means no, that it's time to leave these things behind. But there's always going to be a room for a yes. There's always going to be a room for something new for you. And again, remain positive. So staying positive as you're moving forward, trusting that everything is happening as it needs to for for you and also group two we have for y'all dance and aromatherapy so dance and aromatherapy dancing around moving around is going to be great to help you guys shake off some stagnant energy and if you're about to be spending a lot of time alone dancing is a great way to connect with yourself and move around get creative and also aromatherapy so tapping into aromatherapy uh, tapping into some essential oils you know doing some self-care um, seeing what healing you can do through aromatherapy is going to be good for you guys so yes group two woo this definitely was a doozy um, I feel like you know again we have new solutions and beginnings you guys are definitely stepping into a new space this is definitely about you guys releasing all of the burdens the heaviness that's coming from people that you thought you could trust and I feel like this success is bringing in a lot of reflection for you guys so yes if you pick group two and it resonated with you please let me know down below in the comment section if you wanted to get a personalized full moon experience with me um, a tarot and oracle reading some tea about releasing your burdens and also your spiritual strengths then go ahead and check out the top of the description box to see where you can send in and sign up for that reading um, but yes I appreciate you guys you can book readings with me shop with me all of that in the description box um but yes i appreciate you guys i thank you let me know how you guys feel about this reading have a great one bye guys bless all right last but certainly not least group three let's get into your tea so your oracle card says a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision so obviously being in the space of creation let's get into these tarot cards so we have the queen of pentacles we have the queen of pentacles group three we have strength, we have the star, we have the ace of wands, and we also have the ten of cups, so beautiful energy, let's get into it. With this queen of pentacles energy, I definitely feel you guys are really stepping into a space with the bag. We also have coins. Money will be coming to you in this career energy. So I feel like you guys are definitely stepping into a space of financial abundance. It's definitely going to be very beneficial and just give you what you need. So remind yourself that you are the queen of pentacles. You know, this is about having that golden touch, being able to put money on anything, being able to make a bag out of any idea. So if you guys have a lot of ideas going on in your head, I definitely think now would be a 
a good time to start writing those ideas down and figuring out what you can achieve and also thinking about what you need to release so you can get to that space of achievement also we have strength and the star so you guys are very strong very powerful very powerful manifestors and your energies are reminding you that you are strong you know this full moon is definitely a time to reconnect with the strength within you um, to realize that you're strong why you're strong what your strengths mean for you how it means you can grow how it means um, that you can control your energy control the space that you are in so you are definitely going to be pushed in this space to really trust yourself have faith in yourself and you know believe that you can do the things that you say you want to do and make it happen also, we have the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So new ideas, new beginnings, fresh new starts, definitely stepping into new creative spaces. And also the Ten of Cups, happiness, um, fairy tale ending, having everything that we want and love and more. So I feel like you guys are in a be really, really beautiful space in your life. I feel like you have amazing things going on in love. And if you don't, amazing things are definitely going to be happening. And I feel like a lot of you could be coming from a space of isolation, or maybe you've been building a lot of things on your own. Now you're about to be connected with, you know, your soul family, the people that really are supposed to be there for you also we have look for a sign we have look for a sign so be mindful of angel numbers symbolism opportunities nothing is happening by accident we also have helpful people so just like i said with that ten of cups energy stepping into a space where you're connecting with people who love you who want to see you do well having that community around you and we also have improving health improving health so you guys might have something specifically going on with your health that might be um you know stepping into some better spaces we also have it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio so possibly some negativity that you guys might be having going on um if you have a lot of trauma built up a lot of pain built up a lot of stress built up all of that could be affecting you guys um physically so definitely be mindful of how the things you've been experiencing have been affecting you physically have you been getting enough rest do you need to meditate do you need to stretch do you need to eat healthier you know make sure you're really taking care of yourself physically in this space and again it is time to release negativity and we also have the energy is gaining momentum the energy is gaining momentum so things are absolutely picking up for you guys you know with this star energy this talks about you know beautiful change balance and being in a space where maybe you were in the middle of a bunch of chaos and you were able to still be able to move forward and shine bright in that chaos and push forward no matter what. So because you guys have made it through a rough space and you've kept your head on straight, you um, remained you know, vigilant about what you wanted and what you needed and who you were, all that you're going to be experiencing right now is the benefits of that, the fruit of your labor. Sorry, guys. Y'all know my nose be itching when I be doing reading sometimes. We also have coins. Money will be coming to you. So obviously a bag is on the way. We have career as well. So possibly be open to new things that you might be doing in career, new spaces you might be stepping in. And we also have well, family wishes coming true. So group three, I mean... It's really good to be grouped through right now. Family wishes coming true, beautiful things and family and love and relationships and emotions. You guys are going to be so filled emotionally right now, which is so, 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 so beautiful. Um, so yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that. Also, we have watch a movie and ground yourself watch a movie and ground yourself so these are going to be a few things that you guys can do in this full moon watching a movie could be a good time to relax with your pets if you have any you know just do a little chill session with you i would also say if you have a favorite movie from your childhood or a favorite movie from a certain time in your life re-watching that could be really nostalgic it could even do some healing you know so possibly tapping into that and again grounding yourself i think this is going to be a great way for you guys to figure out what is affecting you and what parts of you it's affecting um you guys know i'm always a big fan of figuring out where the problem is um what the trigger is the root of the problem i'm always a fan of that so this grounding energy is about that getting to your roots getting grounded on your foundation so you can figure out okay where are the holes in my foundation you can't even do that if you don't get grounded you know so you guys are really going to have an opportunity to see the problems to see the issues and deal with them which is beautiful and we have a new earth remember from the beginning a new earth that's happening keep holding the vision so whatever ideas you guys have keep holding that vision if you've been single for a long time a long time and you've just been working on yourself and working on yourself in career and you feel like you keep growing and growing in career and you like where is the love at i definitely feel you guys are going to be connecting with a beautiful connection and love again we have this strength so be open to cutting whatever off releasing whatever i feel like you guys might have had some emotional burdens that you've been dealing with which is why you're being so blessed emotionally and financially in this space so continue to do the work continue to be kind to yourself and i definitely feel you guys are going to really be experiencing the benefits of this full moon and 
Leo to the fullest, definitely to the fullest. So yes, group three, that is what we have for you guys. If this reading resonated with you, let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys wanted to get a personalized private reading for this full moon, check the top of the description box to see how you can get a tarot and oracle reading with me. Also insights in your spiritual strengths and some tea about your burdens. Um, again, I appreciate you guys. I thank y'all for being here so much. Let me know how you felt about this tea down below. And yes, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bless.